the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the weekday Mass on this Tuesday, the 27th of July. Friends, coming together as God's family in faith, let us offer this Eucharist to the Lord, acknowledging our sins and asking for God's pardon. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. You reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold the pass even now to those that, that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, at some distance from the camp. He, call, he called it the tent of meeting. Anyone who had to consult the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise. Every man would stand at the door of his tent and watch Moses until he reached the tent. The pillar of the cloud would come down and station itself at the entrance to the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When they saw the pillar of the cloud stationed at the entrance to the tent, all the people would rise and bow low, each at the door of his tent. The Lord would speak with Moses face to face, as a man speaks with his friend. Then Moses would turn back to the camp. But the young man, who was his servant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses stood with the Lord on the mountain. He called on the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithfulness. For thousands he maintains his kindness, forgive faults, transgressions, and sin. Yet he lets nothing go unchecked, punishing the father's fault in the sons and in the grandsons to the third and fourth generation. And Moses bowed down to the ground at once and worshipped. If I have indeed won your favor, Lord, he said, let my Lord come with us, I beg. True, they are a headstrong people, but forgive us our faults and our sins, and adopt us as your heritage. He stayed there with the Lord for forty days and forty nights eating and drinking nothing. He inscribed on the tablets the words of the covenant, the ten words. The word of the Lord. Response. 
consolation, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord does deeds of justice, gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will come to an end, and he will not be angry forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. As a father has compassion on his sons, the Lord has pity on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, the seed is the word of the Lord, prayer of the God, Christ the Sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our Redeemer and the Holy Gospel of the Courage of Matthew. Leaving the crowds, Jesus went to the house, and his disciples came to him and said, Explain the parable about the darnel in the meal to us. He said in reply, The sower of the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subjects of his kingdom. The darnel, the subjects of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them, the, the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that provoke offenses and all who do evil, and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the virtuous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord of our creation, for through your goodness we have the what we have wine we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O oh Lord, we pray accept the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and God's our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for our salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Mighty holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like in the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, go to his disciples' side. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and promise your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring about to the fullness of charity, to get Francis of Pope, Anthony of Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have placed the youth throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to turn alive, and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him, and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with the confidence in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the might of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of the Christ keep us for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh Lord, we are consumed with this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with the love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.
Thanks, everyone.